Hello, my name is Alexandra Karkowska. I'm a book writer and I act socially in Usadeba, Warsaw District. Uh, today I will tell you the story about Jadwiga Beck. Um, I prepared this presentation within the project Polish New Woman at the Ages of the World. With Jadwiga Beck, we were neighbors because she lived for a short time uh, just nearby, just few houses from my home. A woman who admired Europe, the first lady of the Polish diplomacy, the most relevant, elegant woman and, uh, in the interwar Europe, intelligent, ambitious, well-educated, phenomenally beautiful, elegant, extraordinary, tactful, and witty. These are just few epithets describing Jadwiga. Jadwiga Salkowska Smoldiadzia was born in Lublin in uh, 1896. She uh, was beloved only child of the wealthy lawyer, Wacław Salkowski. She received education in a very prestigious liceum and gymnasium and liceum in Warsaw. She was really, uh, also very active as a young woman in the scouting movement. Uh, thanks to her summer uh, trips abroad, she spoke fluent French and Italian. She also uh, spoke German very well. Um, when the Polish legion, legions were formed, she ran a military canteen in Lublin. She um, many times she recalls this time as a very spontaneous and uh, like a real life. Uh, she described this time of, um, of this tur turbulent garnison uh, life as follows. Legionaries were my finishing school. My health was richer, more colorful. It was a living life. It was a few noisy years in a garrison, sprinkled with plenty of vodka, dancing every Saturday evening. At that time, she met um, Captain Baron Stanislaw Burhard Bukatsky. In 1918, um, the young couple got married with a great pomp in Lublin Cathedral. In 1920, um, their daughter, Joanna, Joanna was born in Modlin, where they lived at that time. Their marriage did not survive. Uh, they both found happiness in new relations. Jadwiga met Josef Beck. Uh, Beck abandoned uh, his wife and son uh, for her. Divorce was prohibited at that time by law, so they both convert uh, to Calvinism to get married. Um, Beck family remained friends with Stanislav and his new wife, and the old world was puzzling about it. Uh, let, me, let me tell you the anecdote. Um, which was very popular at that time in Warsaw. Conversation between two officers. Where do you spend Christmas time? In a family, in a large group? Well, there will be my wife, my wife's fiance, my fiancé, her husband, and the wife of my wife, fiancé. It was Jadwiga who was behind back success. Uh, she was discreet, consistent, uh, and uh, in developing her poli his political career. She was uh, really watched over contacts. She was organizing trips and meetings. And most of all, she, um, she uh, cut short her husband's night nighttime escapades because he really, uh, as we could say, he, um, he really liked it. Uh, she was able to take uh, his glass from him during very official parties, saying that he drank um, enough. Uh, we can easily say it wasn't for Jadwiga, but would never have reached one of the highest positions in the state. In 1922, he became a minister of foreign affairs. Jadwiga quickly became one of the main figures in the political life of the Second Polish Republic, always perfectly prepared for, uh, for official celebrations, 
Um, she fulfilled her uh, the entrusted task perfectly. She accompanied uh, her husband on all official visits. She met politicians and members of the royal families. Uh, for example, in 1935 in Berlin, she met Hitler, or and in and in 1938 uh, in Rome, she met Mussolini. Jadwiga impressed Hitler. Um, he wanted to give her a new Mercedes, uh, but she refused. She loved uh, traveling. She also was a patriot and she didn't want to move out of Poland, but being on the top of the Polish diplomacy guaranteed her a permanent stay in Warsaw with a maximum opportunities to travel around the world. And it was a very elegant word. Um, she recalls, President Moschitsky often gave us his launch train car for official travels, made in Poland, decorated by Polish young artists, very modern, not luxurious. It was nice and comfortable. During the visit, the Polish lounge was always visited, watched, and people were delighted with it. It advertised our Polish industry very well. Their life was also about all kinds of meetings and balls. For example, um, fives or so-called tea times. Uh, these were the meetings that took place between 5 p.m. and uh, 7 p.m. Uh, and they were held every day and bags could not underestimate them. You have to mark in your head or in your calendar where and with whom is the second Tuesday after the 15th or first Friday after the 7th. In any case, the days are too short for a few teas every day. That's how she recalls in her book. Jadwiga was uh, well, the most elegant woman in interwar Warsaw. Uh, her outfits were closely followed by women's magazines and also the serious daily press. And it was not surprising because after all, she was the wife of the chief of the Polish diplomacy. In her book, um, she also recalls the dancing. Uh, she loved to dance. That's what I was telling you about her um, time when she was running the Garnison Canteen. Um, but later on, she says, I didn't like banquets with dances announced in advance. Due to my husband's position, I had to be danced by worse dancers and all dignitaries. They gasped, they got tired. It gave them no pleasure, neither to me. When it was finally the time for the good dancers, younger and funnier, I was so tired and bored that I just dreamed up of going home. Jadwiga was uh, socially active, supporting uh, events of Polish nature and arts. Uh, she was promoting Polish folklore. She dressed in Milano Vexel and wore uh, silver jewelry, advertising Polish products. In September 19. 39, the st this stage of their lives ended. After the defeat of the September campaign, the Becks traveled to Romania with the other members of Polish uh, government. Beck was imprisoned. He felt ill due to stress, poor conditions. He died in 1944. Jadwiga was with him till the very end. She was supporting him as much as she could. After his death, uh, Jadwiga and her daughter left for Turkey, later for, uh, later for Egypt, where she uh, was working for the Polish Red Cross branch. After a few years, she decided to move to Europe. So she goes through via Rome, Belgium, to London. She never uh, came back uh, to Poland. Um, she has no money. 
she has to work. So for a few years, she was working as the warehouse manager in Belgium, Congo. Uh, due to her health conditions, she had to come back to Europe and she, uh, so she returned to London and she was uh, a cleaner in a small hotel. She worked on the diaries of her husband, Yusuf Back. Also, she wrote down her own memories in the, in the book, When I Was Ex an Excellency. And being honest, until the end of her life, Mrs. Back felt an excellency, the widow of the last minister of the foreign affairs of the Second Polish Republic. Uh, Jadwiga Back, died in London in 1974. If you're interested in um, her stories, her, uh, what she wrote, um, I can recommend you the book, When I Was Excellency, wrote by Jadwiga Back. Thank you very much for listening. And I would like to invite you for the next presentations. Follow us. Thank you.